Ambrose, do you think Steve Bruce should resign? Or re-sign, as you thought he said earlier? Um, <laughs> I, I, I think he should... Uh, I, I do think he should resign. You think, yeah? Yeah. And probably for different reasons, yeah. Not not as a friend. Because um, I don't know Steve Bruce personally. Um, I, I know what Cass is trying to say. I do. I understand that. I just feel that he could have won the fans back. He, he could have won them over. If he went out and played exciting football, attacking football, um, he he definitely could have won them over. Now, I think that was a, a bigger opportunity, perhaps, that, to get them on board because, it, it, as he quite freely said, it, they're in free fall. There, there's no direction. There's a lot of uncertainty. The owner is hated. If he went out and played football that, the, that would excite the Newcastle fans I think he would have won them over and I think they, they would have grown to, to love him and you know everything that's going on off the pitch we know we've been involved is irrelevant if you're playing free free exciting football on the pitch I hear the argument that what, what the Newcastle fans expect you know they're not going to win trophies they don't expect to win trophies they don't expect any, to, to be in Europe they expect to have a team that they're excited about they have a team that they can watch and and you know, enjoy and talk about with their friends. Oh, did you see that? Did you see this? That that's what they expect, as every football um, supporter wants for for their team. And it's just not quite happening at the moment for for Steve Bruce. And I think similar to to Mikel in the FA Cup, I don't think he's read the fans when he's come in. He he should have just come in and had a real go. And what what worse could you could he have done? Do you think Crookie? Do you think he should have? Do you think he should change his tactics and go maybe a little bit um, expansive? Well, it looked like he was going to do that in, in the last mm. couple of games when he played Andy Carroll and, and Callum Wilson, but quite often Callum Wilson was having to drop out wide and, and having to track back, which is not really his forte. So, yeah, I think he has to. You know, I think he is in the last chance saloon now as far as that job is concerned. And I think yeah. actually, had the games not have been taking place behind closed doors, he would have gone already because the atmosphere at St. James's mm. Park would have been unbearable. And I think Mike Ashley would have had to step in I think Mike Ashley seems to be quite happy that Steve Bruce is the one taking the stick because of course. it's been aimed at yeah. his direction um, over the past couple of seasons. So he is staying noticeably quiet. But they are sleepwalking into a relegation battle. And, and I think Steve Bruce, again, misread the situation even after the game last night when he came out and said there are some positive. We've got Sam Maximum back on the pitch. Yes, that is a positive, but only if you play to his strengths. And they have players. You know, Sam Maximam is an exciting player. I think Carroll and Wilson, the little and large combination, could be successful. But he oh. needs to take the shackles off and he needs to do it quickly. It's a Brentford game. 